In this video, I'm sharing with you exactly what happens to your body when you stop taking tamoxifen. Now, a lot of women do not realize that the symptoms that you might be experiencing right now are actually directly linked to tamoxifen. The problem is that nobody tells you about them. So you're left to just struggle through not feeling like yourself and wondering, what is going on? Here, I'm gonna walk you through the five most shocking symptoms of tamoxifen that you likely are completely unaware of. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happens to you and your body when you stop taking this medication. The very first symptom I have to dive into is your mood. Tamoxifen has a direct impact on your mood and many women are never told about this. Depression, anxiety, irritability can all be linked to tamoxifen. After taking tamoxifen for a few months, you might be thinking, what is wrong with me? The emotional side effects of tamoxifen are often downplayed or even ignored by your oncologist. It's thought that compared to chemotherapy, then tamoxifen should be a walk in the park. But the problem is that you have to take tamoxifen for five or 10 years. This is a really long time to not feel like yourself. It's such a big portion of your life. This is exactly what leads some women to say, I can't do this anymore. If you're struggling with feelings of depression, anxiety, or you're just more irritable with your family or your kids, then this could definitely be linked to tamoxifen. About 10% of women taking tamoxifen will experience some symptoms of depression, and in some cases, it can be quite severe. Now, going through cancer and chemo is rough. You've been through a lot. When creating your cancer recovery plan, we need to look at not only the physical recovery, but also the emotional recovery. While tamoxifen could very well be impacting your mood, there are a lot of other things to consider here as well. The only true way to know if tamoxifen is the cause of your low mood is to stop the drug and see what happens. But before you do that, I wanna show you how it's not quite that simple or direct. I'm gonna share with you exactly how long you need to wait for tamoxifen to get out of your body and out of your system so you can actually start to see some results. But in the meantime, we need to talk about the emotional recovery from cancer. Of course, this is a difficult topic to navigate, but the most important thing that I wanna share with you is that you are not alone. For me personally, I know that two people saved my life after my cancer or diagnosis, my surgeon and my therapist. No one is prepared to navigate a life-threatening diagnosis like cancer. Just like you need support through treatment to become cancer-free or control the disease, you now need support in cancer recovery to recover emotionally. Here is a very simple way to do just that. If you are cancer-free, that is amazing. But if you truly want to be free from cancer, free from the anxiety and fear of recurrence, then you need cancer recovery mindset as well. What is especially important is finding someone who specializes in cancer care. You don't wanna to have to describe your diagnosis or your chemo to your therapist. You want someone who's just going to get it. Finding someone who's been diagnosed with cancer themselves is amazing. When I was personally diagnosed with cancer, I was already working in cancer care. I had years of experience and I had already completed my doctorate training, but it wasn't until after personally being diagnosed that I truly and deeply understood what cancer survivors are going through. But finding someone with a focus in cancer care or a specialty in that area is amazing as well. You'll be able to move forward with your healing so much faster if you find someone that specializes in that area. Keep in mind that while tamoxifen could very well be impacting your mood, that might not be the entire picture. Before completely placing the blame on tamoxifen, it might be wise to investigate other possibilities as well. Okay, but on to the next side effect that is without a doubt linked to tamoxifen, but hardly anyone is talking about this. Worse yet, a lot of clinicians will completely dismiss this issue and blame it on you. But it's not true. A lot of doctors will dismiss that tamoxifen causes weight gain. This is completely untrue. Let me show you how this happens, what to do about it, and exactly what happens to your body when you stop taking tamoxifen. Tamoxifen is specifically designed to lower your risk of cancer from coming back but it's actually a double-edged sword. We know that having an unhealthy body weight is directly linked to increasing your risk of cancer. So a drug that's designed to lower your risk of cancer, but causes you to gain weight, which actually increases your risk of cancer, ugh, that is frustrating. This just doesn't work. In my clinical practice, without support or guidance, I see that most women gain weight 
when they start taking tamoxifen. Here is exactly why this happens. If you know why this happens, then you can actually do something about it. The suppression of estrogen with tamoxifen is actually going to change your metabolism. When estrogen is suppressed, it actually makes it more difficult to maintain or create new lean muscle mass. With less lean muscle mass, your metabolism actually slows down, you gain weight, especially in your abdominal or tummy area. The truth here is that tamoxifen is definitely at play and it is linked to the suppression of your estrogen. Okay, so many women think, perfect, simple, I'll stop taking tamoxifen and I'll stop gaining weight or get back to a healthy body weight. Yes, that is likely somewhat true, but there's more to it than just that. All women do naturally go through menopause. So eventually your estrogen levels are gonna drop. At that point, you're gonna start to have the exact same problems you're having right now. It happens slower because the drop in estrogen during natural menopause is more gradual, but it still happens. More fat in your stomach area and the scale starts to creep up. Again, that unhealthy body weight is just not good in terms of your risk of cancer. So here's what you should do instead. Learn how to fuel your body for lower estrogen levels. Eventually, you're gonna have to learn how to do this, so you might as well start now. Here is the first step to managing your body weight with lower estrogen levels. You have got to focus on increasing your protein intake. Eating target protein levels will help you manage your weight with lower estrogen levels. Lower estrogen makes it more difficult to maintain or create lean muscle mass, more difficult, but not impossible. What we wanna do here is to set your body up to be supported with these new hormone levels. How we do that is to eat to your individualized protein targets. Eating more protein will help maintain your lean muscle mass, keep your metabolism the same, and keep your weight down. Start today by adding more lean protein into your diet. Foods like chicken, tofu, cheese, edamame beans, or eggs. Start to build up your protein choices. While stopping tamoxifen might help with your weight changes in the short term, in the long term, you're gonna have to learn how to manage this anyways. Okay, so we've touched on mood changes and weight gain, but this next side effect of tamoxifen, hardly anyone's talking about, and it's so frustrating. Skin changes. Your skin will change after you start taking tamoxifen. It becomes more dry, and some women actually describe it as being rough. But it's not only your skin. There's more to it than that, actually. Many women also note dry eyes and dry mouth while taking tamoxifen. This is absolutely attributed to tamoxifen with about 20% of women experiencing these side effects. It's awful, right? You realize you have dry skin, dry eyes, and when you bring it up to your oncology care team, no one seems to think it's linked to tamoxifen. I'm telling you what you're experiencing is very real. This is valid and stopping tamoxifen will fix this issue, but it's going to take some time to repair. I'm gonna cover how long it will take for tamoxifen to get out of your system and out of your body at the end of this video. But the dry skin issue will improve if you just choose to stop tamoxifen. However, most women find that this dry skin issue isn't really enough for them to actually quit taking tamoxifen. So instead, let's talk about some ways you can fix it. Drink more water. Hydration is always overlooked in terms of cancer recovery, and here's why it's so important. During chemo, we are given so much hydration Hydration. Your chemo is mixed with hydration, chemo's often ran alongside hydration, and sometimes you're even brought back into the clinic just for hydration. That's a lot. The reason why is because hydration actually solves a lot of problems. If you're dehydrated, it can make your chemo symptoms so much worse. The same holds true for tamoxifen. If you wanna combat dry skin, then you need to drink more water. While dry skin is something that many of us can cope with, here is a side effect of tamoxifen that deeply troubles many women, hot flashes. The younger you are diagnosed and the sooner you're put on tamoxifen, the more severe your hot flashes will be. This is because you're further away from natural menopause. When you start tamoxifen, your hormone levels dramatically drop. This is not a natural process for your body, and so your body responds accordingly. So what happens with the hot flashes when you stop taking tamoxifen? If you're still before natural menopause, then it's likely that the hot flashes will completely or almost completely stop. But if you're after natural menopause, then it's likely that the hot flashes will lessen, but they may still be present because your estrogen levels are declining. But here is the truth about hot flashes for every single woman. It's likely 
that you're going to experience hot flashes at some point in your life. The unfortunate part about hot flashes in natural menopause is that hardly anyone's discussing it. It naturally happens to half of the population, but hardly anyone's talking about it. It doesn't make any sense. So when you're put into forced menopause with a drug like tamoxifen, it's natural that you have no strategies to know how to cope with this. Well, there are science-backed ways to lower your hot flashes or to be completely hot flash free. Learn these strategies now. Because regardless of what you decide to do about taking tamoxifen, you're gonna wanna know these strategies. The first step to being hot flash free while on tamoxifen is to control your fight or flight response. We know that women who struggle with higher levels of anxiety or frustration actually have three times the numbers of hot flashes compared to other women. Now, controlling your anxiety or mood is easier said than done, but here is a very simple and clear way to lower your fight or flight response. Listen to relaxing music. Put on relaxing music while you're working, during your commute, or while you're even just working around the house. This will calm your system and reduce your hot flashes. 30 minutes a day minimum, start there. Okay, but this is truly the number one reason why women stop taking tamoxifen. Joint and muscle pain. This is one of the most common reasons why women choose to stop taking tamoxifen. The joint and muscle pain is often downplayed or maybe never even mentioned by your doctor, but it can be severe. For some women, that joint pain may never go away, or at least until they stop taking tamoxifen. But it's actually more than just pain. Tamoxifen has a number of effects on your bones. It can cause bone loss, osteoporosis, osteopenia. This is often why calcium supplements or high calcium foods are suggested to women when they're on tamoxifen. The unfortunate part about these changes to your bones is that they're irreversible. Once a bone is lost, you cannot reverse the damage. Being in pain from tamoxifen is tough. Being in pain every time you get up from a chair, from your desk, or out of bed is difficult to cope with and it's no way to live. A breast cancer survivor client that I worked with had crippling joint pain. She breathed through chemo, not a lot of side effects, she was able to work, felt pretty good, all things considered. But then she started taking tamoxifen and the joint pain hit her hard. She couldn't really imagine living 10 years like this. The pain was just brutal. She loved to run and be fit, but this joint pain was really slowing her down. But there are ways to be joint pain free while on tamoxifen. The first step we took was upping her exercise levels. We often feel like we should do less because of the joint pain, but we actually need to do more. It's kind of counterintuitive, but it works. We also can use a combination of dietary changes, lifestyle changes, supplements to get you completely joint pain free. Amazing, right? Still on tamoxifen, but no side effects. It is without a doubt possible to be joint pain free, but it takes time to get there. Either if you decide to stay on tamoxifen or stop, it takes time to get there. There is a really clear reason why this happens. And this is a really important point that you need to know if you're choosing to stop tamoxifen. Tamoxifen sticks around in your body for a long time after you stop taking it. This is both good and bad. The good news is that this means you'll get positive results from this drug for a long time after you stop taking it. Tamoxifen will continue to lower your risk of a cancer recurrence long after you actually stop the drug. But here's how long it takes for tamoxifen to be mostly out of your body. It's going to take about three to four weeks for tamoxifen to be mostly eliminated from your body. It takes a long time. The unfortunate part is that you're gonna be feeling the way you are now for quite some time. But look, you don't have to be stuck feeling this way. There are really simple ways to start feeling great and more like yourself starting today. That's exactly why I've linked up this next video here on actions that you can start today to start feeling more like yourself while on tamoxifen. Click the video here and let's get started. I'll see you in there.